from Aurora Peak, Aurora. My name is Dakota, and we're captain and storyteller for our journey through Storybook Lane. For your safety, please remain seated for the entirety of our voyage, keeping hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. And please supervise children so our story doesn't take any unexpected turns. Now most people enter lands of enchantment through the pages of a book. But for those of us who enter in person, whether that be by rabbit hole, pixie dust, or even through the jaws of a giant whale, the ones in can be rather magical, or even a little bit scary. Don't be afraid though, while it looks like we're being eaten by Monstro, he's actually just taking us to a magical place called Storybook Land. Our story begins like many others with Once Upon a Time. For Once Upon a Time, there was a big bad wolf who was always chasing after the three little pigs. Luckily, they live on their own little island off to our right in their three houses, one made of straw, one made of sticks, and the last made of guaranteed wolf bricks. Now our story takes a bit of a strange turn, as coming up on our left is the quaint English village, home to a little girl named Alice, who one golden afternoon followed the white rabbit down the rabbit hole into Wonderland. Of course, things only became curiouser and curiouser from there. But if that story is in your cup of tea, just follow the second star to the right and you'll see London Park, where Peter Pan took Michael, John, and Wendy Darling and flew them off to Neverland with the help of Tinkerbell's Pixie Dust. There they would run into Captain Hook, meet the Lost Boys, and never, ever have to grow up. Now, just one jump ahead is the city of Agrabah where Aladdin bumped into Princess Jasmine at the marketplace and stole her heart. Now, while the two were from different worlds, thanks to the power of love and a little help from a genie, they got married and now live happily ever after in the Sultan's Palace. Because Storybook Land is a place where love truly does shine, just like the twinkling lights on the archways above us. The very same archways, in fact, that Aladdin and Princess Jasmine soared over sideways and under on their magic carpet ride to a whole new world. And of course, all good stories are full of love and light, but they can also have their dark places, too. Places like the mysterious Cave of Wonders just ahead. Now, the cave is said to be home to a cursed treasure, the curse of which can only be lifted by the genie of the land. Now, legend has it, whoever releases the genie will be granted three magical wishes. Let's all make a wish and see if it comes true. Now, our friend Snow White once had a wish. Her wish was to escape the evil queen, and that wish was granted when seven dwarfs took her into their small forest cottage on our right, thanks to her kindness. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear them whistle while they work. Now, if you look up the hill to our left, you'll see the castle where Cinderella wished to attend the prince's ball, but her wicked stepmother forbade it. Luckily, her fairy godmother granted her wish, and she danced the night away with her prince. She was having so much fun, though, that she lost track of time and didn't make it home before midnight, so her carriage turned back into a pumpkin, which is still up there on that bridge below the castle to this day. Now, while magic does have its limits, thankfully love does not, and she lived happily ever after with her prince charming. Now, dreams really do come true here in Storybook Land, and like wishes, they inspire many of our stories. Some are dreams of happily ever after, while others are dreams of simply drifting off to sleep on a bed of quilted flowers, much like the patterns you see off to our left, inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon, Lullaby Land. Now you may have noticed that many of the plants, flowers, and especially the trees here in Storybook Land are rather small. And I assure you, they are all 100% completely real. And they stay so small because they're enchanted by Tinkerbell's pixie dust. That way, they never, ever have to grow up. That's just part of what made this one of Master Storyteller Walt Disney's favorite places. Now, just up ahead on our left is the stately manor of J. Thaddeus Toad. I don't see Mr. Toad's motor car out front, though. He 
must have taken it out on another wild ride headed nowhere in particular. But perhaps he was headed somewhere like Arendelle, where Elsa fled to her frozen palace atop the mountain, but her sister Anna just wouldn't let it go. That act of true love saved them both and proved that family can weather even the harshest snowstorm. Just across the way, on our right, is the Alpine Village, home to Geppetto, the master woodcarver, who wished upon a star that his mother Pinocchio were one day in real world. Now thanks to Pinocchio saving him from the belly of Monstro the Whale, that wish was granted by the Blue Fairy. And much like Geppetto's wish, a little mermaid named Ariel had a wish to be part of our world. She gave up her fins in exchange for some unsteady legs to join Prince Eric on land and the palace on our own. That's not where her story began, though. It began under the sea in the city of Atlantica, which is just beyond the waterfall to our left. Our storybook comes to a close. From all of us here at Storybook Land, we'd like to thank you for joining us and becoming part of our story here. As we approach the dock, please keep your hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat and away from the dock. And please remain seated until I give you a count of three. On my count of three, we will all stand together in the center of the boat for balance, so nobody has to take any unexpected trips under the sea. Yes. Don't 
they say to the animals, that's the end of the lion. <laughs> Fantasyland, Fantasyland Station.
Váyanse asentados, por favor. Welcome. And if you look straight ahead, we have Skipper Felix. 
Alex's boat. More like one big shipwreck to me. You know, some people say that my job is so easy that monkeys can do it. It's <laughs> like crazy. So, those are eggs, actually, yeah. Do you like that one at the top is trying to tell us his name? Now I juggle so full of plants, I'm gonna point out some of my favorite ones. That one, and that one, and that one. And I'm to my left hand side, they have a beautiful chance. They always give each other butterflies. That one at the top, I like to call her a bed. She's quite a catch, might I add. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's so amazing.
hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the log. And be sure to watch your kittens. Have a zippity do job right.
It's the lead's been calling out the death marking so we can avoid running the ground. Mark Twain! Mark Twain is not just the name of a riverboat or a great American author. It also means the water here is two fathoms deep. That means it's safe enough for us to proceed on our steam-powered journey along the rivers of America. On our trip, we'll visit the magnificent Columbia of the Great Northwest, the graceful Missouri of the windswept plains, and the rugged Rio Grande along the border of Texas and Mexico. I'll be sure to point out interesting sights along the way, and even tell you about a legend or two. We begin our trip right here on the mighty Mississippi, heading south and ending up down in New Orleans. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've been navigating these parts for years now, but I never get tired of taking in the breathtaking beauty of the Columbia River. The majestic trees, the stunning rock formations, the cascading waterfalls, the roots, deer, and elk along the banks. It's all so magnificent and so peaceful. Off to the side of the river is an Indian chief. And I do believe he's giving us a sign of peace. That means we're all clear as we head up the Missouri River to the home of the Plains Indians.
stronger side is Pirate's Lair at Tom Sawyer Island. We're now heading back into civilization along the Rio Grande. Off in the distance are the towering buttes of Big Thunder Mountain. Rumor has it that the railroad built to haul gold out of the mountain has been seized by supernatural forces. And they've turned the mining trains into the wildest ride in the wilderness. Of course, that may be just another legend of the river. Just ahead is the frontier land, where our journey ends. On behalf of our entire crew, I'd like to thank you for booking passage on the Mark Twain River. At this time, we ask that you prepare to disembark. If you're on one of the other decks, please make your way down to the first deck. The stairways to the right side and the back of the boat may offer the quickest and easiest route. We hope you enjoyed your voyage with us and that you'll visit us again real soon. Hidden 
until unearthed by a tremendous volcanic event. Steer four zero degrees. Right rudder, four zero degrees. Mind your distance to port and starboard. Aye aye sir. As we leave this long lost community behind, we're about to enter a community of a different kind, the Coral Reef. surrounds us is a biological community that thrives in warm shallow waters. It usually takes more than a year for a coral to grow only one inch. An amazing fact when you consider that Australia's Great Barrier Reef stretches over 2,000 kilometres. Remember the pledge? Right then. I, I am, am a nice shark, shark not, not a, a mind. 
fellows leading the sheep. They all are friends of food. But they might so easy does it. What one of these alludes to Oppure?
Supervisor, children away from the open area seating. Our next stop will be at New Orleans Square Station. Please be advised, folks, New Orleans Square Station will be your closest stop to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and to the Haunted Mansion. Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. We're embarking on a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon and make a trip back in time to the primeval world and the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. As we begin our journey, remember that for a safe trip, you need to stay seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your children. Bienvenidos a bordo del Disneyland Railroad. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Our first stop is New Orleans Square Station. But to get there, we need to pass through the wilds of Adventureland. It may seem peaceful through here, but trust me, it's a real jungle out there. Literally. So be on the lookout. You just never know what might be lurking along the rails. There we go. Just ahead is New Orleans Square Station. This station also serves Frontierland and Critter Country. If you'll be leaving us here, please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Then watch your step as you're getting off. For those of you continuing on with us, we'll be resuming our trip in just a moment. This is New Orleans Square Station. New Orleans Square. Alright, let's go to New Orleans Square Station. At this time, we do ask that you please remain seated until the train makes a full and complete stop. Just a reminder, friends, this will be your closest stop to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and to the Honda Mansion. Just one more time, folks, just please remain seated until the train makes a full and complete stop. To those just joining us, welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe ride, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. We're now entering Splash Mountain, rumored to be the location of the one and only Laughing Place. If you look real hard, you just might find it. It's where the critters are celebrating a symphony doo day. Thank you. 
We steam past Hungry Bear Restaurant, the last outpost in these parts. We're now joining up with the rivers of America and entering the frontier as it looked more than a century and a half ago. This is my favorite part of the journey. Around every bend, there's natural beauty as far as the eye can see. There is the revered Indian shaman, sharing his stories with those in the great river valley below. People like you have been riding these rails since the 1800s, traveling through nature's wonderland in a matter of days, rather than the months it used to take by mule or stagecoach. Steam power not only fueled these iron horses, but the dreams of a whole new generation as it moved west into this great frontier. Of course, some of those dreams, and the stories that went with them, were pretty darn wild and downright unbelievable. Like on Big Thunder Mountain, where I hear that mysterious spirits have grabbed hold of those mining trains and turned them into the wildest ride in the wilderness. signals our transition from the frontier to another kind of gear, the ones you'll find on Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Our next stop is Toontown Depot, the official train station for Mickey's Toontown. Our home where Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends live. Toontown Depot is also the gateway to Fantasyland, where you'll find many of your favorite Disney animated characters and stories. Hi, this is Mickey Bird in the Remember to stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. ¿Qué tal, amigos? Y bienvenidos a bordo. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of them all. Fantasyland. You can see people stepping onto it's a small world just below us. And, off in the distance, just a matter of time. steaming forward into the future to a land inspired by visions of tomorrow, both practical and imaginary. Here you'll find rocket ships and star skiers, submarines and asteroids, and look over here, maybe a glimpse of Mark 7 monorail. This is the latest version of the first daily operating monorail in the entire Western Hemisphere, gliding above Disneyland since 1959. Below the monorail, and us, are the fun-filled roadways of the Autopia. 
Drivers of all ages can get behind the wheel of these cars. No experience or license required. If you're into soaring spaceships or doing battle with evil empires and emperors, Tomorrowland is definitely the place for you. Speaking of which, we're pulling into Tomorrowland Station right now. If you're leaving us here, just stay seated until we come to a full stop. Gather your belongings, including lightsabers and astro blasters, and step carefully from the train. Thanks, and have fun in the future. For the rest of you, please sit tight. We'll be on our way again in just a minute. Alright friends, thank you for running the To those who have just come aboard, welcome! The next leg of our journey will take us from the fantastic world of the future to the breathtaking beauty of nature's own design, the Grand Canyon. For your safety, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Watch your children and no flash photography. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Por favor, no tome fotografías con flash. today. But it wasn't always this way. Now, let's travel back in time, way back in time, to the fantastic past of the primeval world, land of the dinosaurs.
We're now returning to our own time and to Main Street Station. Alright friends, please stay back to Main Street Station. Please remember to remain seated until the train has come to a full and complete stop. Please be advised Main Street Station is stairs only, so if you do have wheelchairs or strollers, we do advise you keep them fully folded until you reach the bottom of the stairs. And for those that have joined us for the Grand Circle Tour of our Magic Kingdom, thank you for choosing the Disneyland Railroad. Real soon. For those of you staying with us, we'll be on our way again in just a few minutes. This is Main Street Station, Main Street, USA.
stop at the dock and you are asked to disembark. Thank you. Boat が完全に止まり、下船していただく指示が出されるまでは席を立たないでください。ご協力ありがとうございます。Por favor, permanezca sentado hasta que el bote se detenga en el muelle y se le pida que desembarque. Gracias. Bitte bleiben Sie im Boot sitzen, bis es zu einem vollständigen Halt kommt und Sie gebeten werden aufzustehen. Danke. Please remain seated until your boat comes to a complete stop at the dock. Veuillez rester assis jusqu'à l'arrêt complet du bateau. Et attendez jusqu'à ce que l'hôte ou l'hôtesse vous demande de descendre. Por favor, permanezca sentado hasta que el bote se detenga en el muelle y se le pida que desembarque. Gracias. Bitte bleiben Sie im Boot sitzen, bis es zu einem vollständigen Halt kommt und Sie gebeten werden aufzustehen. Remain seated until your boat comes to a complete stop at the dock and you are asked to disembark. Thank you. Would you just stay as you just...